everybody, this is Pastor Shay, aka Chaplain G, coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today. So, yo, I want to jump right into it, into the text, because this is a long one. I want to read this to y'all, and then I'll speak to it a little bit, because I think y'all really enjoy this one. This is coming from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37. Y'all check this out. It says, The hand of the Lord was upon me. And he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley. And it was full of bones. And he led me around among them. And behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley. And behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live. You shall know that I am the Lord God. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a sound, and behold, a rattling. And the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I looked, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them. And they lived and stood on their feet in an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are indeed cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and will raise you from your graves, O my people. And I will put my spirit within you and you shall live and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken and I will do it, declares the Lord. So check this out. I want to bring up two points on this passage, man. This is if you just take it at face value, you're like, whoa, this is a trippy dream, is Ezekiel on mushrooms. Like, that's just, like, right off the gate, right? But here's the thing, is God is, is showing Ezekiel these things. There's some important spiritual things that are happening. The people of God are like, yo, we're without hope. We, like, you promised us all these things. Our, our land has been taken away from us. We're in captivity. You promised to send someone that's going to rescue us, and they haven't come yet. All hope is lost. The Lord has gone away from us. The, the people are in great distress, right? So Ezekiel comes along and he has this vision. And essentially what God is saying to the people is, yo, I haven't forgotten about you. I'm still going to send someone that's going to uh, bring this breath of life to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up your graves. That's a sign that this person has come. I'm going to open up your graves. The dead are going to walk among you. And you're going to know that I'm God. And I promised to rescue you, right? And so we just got done with Easter. And in the in the Easter narrative, as Jesus uh, is put to death on the cross, and there's all kind of stuff happening, right? Like there's there's pitch blackness that's going on, there's earthquakes that are happening, uh, up at the temple, the big giant curtain is split in two, and, and the narrative goes, dead start to rise up from the grave. And people, I'm sure, are like, whoa, <laughs> what is going on here? And so there's the promise, and people are thinking back to the book of Ezekiel. It's like, okay, these people, are, they've been reanimated, but they don't have the breath of life into them. Now we start to get into the book of Acts. In the book of Acts, the Holy Spirit of God comes upon his people. He rushes upon him. The same spirit of life uh, that, that breathed life into Adam and Eve way back in the beginning, this, the same spirit that hovered over the face of the deep and, and brought life into existence, the same spirit comes upon God's people, and little flames of fire dance upon people's heads, and the spirit of God rushes upon them, and it dwells itself, himself within them. 
this is the fulfillment of the Ezekiel passage when not only are people brought into the presence of God as, as witnessed by all these uh, reanimated people coming from the grave, but then the breath of life is put into um, people's spirit. So God is essentially bringing the dead back to life. The reason why that's important is God continues to do that today. The Bible calls us spiritually dead. It says that uh, we were born that way. We were born in a way that was unpleasing to God. We were enemies of God. All of our actions are in direct hostility to God. We're dead in our sins and trespasses, it says. How do the dead come back to life? It's, it, would take a, it would take a work of God to bring the dead back to life. That's what Ezekiel says, right? We see in the book of Acts, and we see now throughout the history since the book of Acts until now, God continually brings people back to life. He sends his Holy Spirit to indwell within them. The Spirit of God points people to the, to the knowledge and love of Christ so that they can be in the presence of the, of the Father for eternity. We see God working in a triune way, bringing the people of God back into his presence. And, it's, and we see the vision of that in the book of Ezekiel. You know, this is an awesome passage. It means like God can take something that is hopeless, completely dead. It's, it says the, the bones were very dry. And God reanimates them from the inside out, brings them back to life, brings the breath of life back into them. And then all praise and honor and glory goes to God who can bring the dead back to life. Yo, if you don't know this, if you haven't experienced God bringing you back to life, yo, I want you to hit me up. I want you to reach out to me because I would love to walk you through what that looks like. Uh, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Yo, it's free to y'all, but it means a lot over here. It means I can keep pumping this stuff out. It means that more people will hear about it. The more people hear about it, uh, the more and more people will hear about it. Yo, we want to make this to where, like, the glory of Christ is being pushed out on on platforms like this man because the world the world is spiritually dead and they need this breath of life being breathed back into them so they can live for eternity that's my word of encouragement for you for today yo please uh hit me up if you need me i'd love to pray for you and you'll until next time grace and peace